news starts now with breaking news. To a hazmat incident. A trip to this neighborhood pool in Harper's Mill turns into a nightmare for families. Swimmers became exposed to toxic chemicals, sending more than a dozen children to the hospital for care. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 6. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. It all unfolded just after 11 o'clock this morning when calls started pouring in. Our 8 News crew rushed to the scene to find out what happened. We have team coverage tonight starting with 8 News reporter Damon Reynolds. He was first to arrive on scene. And Damon, can you tell us what happened? Hey, Eric and Deanna, here's what we know so far. Chesterfield Fire and EMS crews responding to a call saying that there was a weird smell at the pool, leaving many kids feeling sick. It all happened around 11.18 a.m. this morning when crews responded at the Harper's Mill swimming pool to many kids complaining of a weird smell. Now, crews had no idea of exactly what this was, but knew they had to decontaminate everyone there. About 25 to 35 people had to be sprayed down with water to ensure no chemicals had been found on their body. Some had their blood pressure taken and breathing checked as a safety measure. The complaints were coughing, nauseated. Lieutenant Kenny Mitchell says incidents like this tend to occur during this time of year. This is pretty common in the summer times with pool chemicals. This time of the year, a lot of times uh, people are mixing chemicals with their home pools because this happens a lot at homes as well. Mitchell of the Chesterfield Fire EMS says he has seen chemical mixtures cause this sort of disruption before, but it's hard to tell at this time what caused the chemical issue. Crews will continue to investigate. Now, so far, there is a total of about 16 people who were taken to local area hospitals with non-life-threatening injuries. Now, I did speak with the management team of this pool earlier today, and they tell me that they are going to do a separate assessment that is one different from the emergency crews assessment to see if there are any other lingering issues with the chemicals in the pool. But for now, there is no specific timetable on when this pool will reopen. In Chesterfield, DeMond Reynolds, 8 News.